New tonight, a family and community ripped apart. I haven't slept. I haven't eaten. And I just need my child back. A college student drowned at a pool party. Now his family wants to know how this could have happened with hundreds of people right next to him. Live, local, link breaking. This is the Channel 2 Action News Night Beat. Coverage you can count on. Good evening, I'm Wendy Corona in Fort Vita Moore. I'm Justin Farmer and developing this evening, friends and family gathered to remember a college student who drowned during a Memorial Day pool party. It all happened as hundreds of people surrounded the 19-year-old. Channel 2's Matt Johnson live in southwest Atlanta. So Matt, you talked to the victim's mother. Candles still burn here tonight where family and friends say the young man grew up and they say he had such a bright future ahead of him. Still, there's a lot of frustration within the family not knowing what caused him to stay underwater for so long. We're all hurting, Lord. A community in mourning lit candles and shared memories of 19-year-old Shamari Billings a day after the 19-year-old drowned at a large pool party. I don't know what hurts worse, me not having my child or me not knowing exactly what happened. Billings' mother says she hasn't slept since her son died at the 500 apartments in northwest Atlanta Monday night. Tuesday's vigil drew dozens of people because loved ones say the Georgia Southern student was always positive. He had a um, smile on his face that would just touch anybody. As cooking became so popular on campus, he dreamed of opening up a restaurant. We cook wings, fried Oreos, slushies, just everything and people actually shop with us it was 3113 wings billings was one of hundreds of people who were at a ticketed memorial day pool party that management at the complex called unauthorized witnesses say he may have been underwater for 20 minutes before anyone alerted police his mother says he didn't know how to swim i need to know if someone pushed him in the pool if someone seen what happened neighbors say private parties were common a spokesperson for the 500 departments denies knowing about it in advance. She tells me, quote, we are evaluating ways to prevent anything like this from happening again. Rest assured that changes will be made. Billings family says that's just one step toward getting answers. Somebody is at fault for this and they need to come forward because this is hurting me. And Atlanta police continue to investigate. We have posted on our website a link to a GoFundMe to help with Shomari's bur burial expenses if you want to help the family. Live in Southwest Atlanta, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.